plastic pollution in the world is increasing day by day. Accumulation of waste plastics in the environment create problems for wildlife and their habitat as well as for human populations. By the end of the 20th century, plastics had been found to be persistent polluters of many environmental niches from Mount Everest to the bottom of the sea, whether being mistaken for food by animals, flooding low-lying areas by clogging drainage systems, plastic have attracted increasing attention as a large-scale pollutant. Plastic is a polymeric material that is a material whose molecules are very large, often resembling long chains made up of a seemingly endless series of interconnected links. Since synthetic plastics are largely non-biodegradable, this tend to persist in natural environments. 14 million tons of plastic dissolve into marine environment each year. Since the ocean is downstream from nearly every terrestrial location, it is the receiving body for much of the plastic waste generated on land. Plastic pollution was first noticed in the ocean by scientists carrying out plankton studies in the late 1960s and early 1970s. In the ocean, plastic pollution can kill marine animals through ingestion of plastic by being mistaken for food. Studies have found that all kinds of species including small zooplankton, large cetaceans, most seabirds and all marine turtles readily indigest plastic beads and trash items. Sunlight and seawater embrittle plastic and the eventual breakdown of larger objects into microplastics make plastic available to zooplankton and other small marine animals. Such small pieces of plastic which are less than 5 mm 0.2 inch in length make up a sizable fraction of plastic waste in the ocean. There are also terrestrial aspects to plastic pollution. Drainage systems become clogged with plastic bags, films and other items causing flooding. Land birds, cow, deer, etc. have been found with plastic in their stomachs. In addition, wind transported microplastic fibers and particles have been detected in many parts of the world including the snow deposited high atop mountains on arctic beaches and the sea ice and in antarctic. Plastic waste on land is often incinerated releasing toxic gases like dioxin, furans, mercury and polychlorinated biphenyls into the atmosphere. Microplastics have been detected in human blood cells for the first time, sparking fears that continued packaging pollution could result in rising disease rates. A team of scientists in the Netherlands sought to quantify levels and types of plastic in 22 human subjects' blood and discovered particles in 80% of them. The researchers say the findings are a breakthrough discovery and certainly a reason to be concerned. The study adds to a body of evidence that microplastics are contaminating human and human fetuses. The study is published in Environment International Journal. Exposure routes of microplastics in body are Inhalation, ingestion, and dermal contact. Humans may experience oxidative stress, cytotoxicity, neurotoxicity, immune system disruption, and transfer of microplastics to other tissues after being exposed to them. Bisphenol A BPA, widely used for the production of polycarbonates and other plastic, possesses estrogenic activities and is called endocrine disruptors. 
it can causes damage to refractive organs thyroid gland and brain tissue at developmental stages in human and in animals and most recently it has also been linked to cancer development in humans in 2014 chouhan and his group isolated bpa degrading microorganisms that is bacteria and fungus from various sites like water bodies receiving waste from industries landfills etc these microbes with the high bpa biodegradability may be useful for the fast purification of the aquatic environment contaminated by bpa in april 2021 hong kong polytechnic university published the results of a study that bacterium pseudomonas aerogenosa to successfully break down microplastics in a lab in 2023 Mike Goldian from Royal Netherlands Institute for Sea Research (NIOZ) observed that bacterium Rhodococcus rubber digests plastic and releases carbon dioxide and less harmful substances. Parameters of her experiment are: she used special plastic bottles containing 13C. UV lamp act as sunlight artificial sea water plastic eating bacteria can convert ocean plastic into carbon dioxide as per findings the bacteria can only break down around 1% of the plastic it is fed into carbon dioxide and other harmless substances han and his group studied soil samples from a landfill in islamabad and discovered a fungus aspergillus tubing genesis which break down polyester polyurethane a plastic used to make synthetic leather adhesives car parts and many other products fungi enzyme break down chemical bonds in the plastic then uses its network by tiny root like filaments called mycelia and fungi releases some greenhouse gases researchers from the university of natural resource and life science in vienna the austrian center of industrial biotechnology and the university of instock studied that bacteria found in cow stomach can digest polyester used in textiles packaging and compostable bags bacteria from cow's rumen one of the four compartments of their stomach can digest it in conclusion i can say that biodegradation of plastic involves excretion of extracellular enzymes by the microorganisms attachment of enzyme to the surface of plastic hydrolysis to short polymers intermediates which are ultimately assimilated by microbial cells as carbon source to release carbon dioxide microbial digestion does not represent a total solution to the issue of plastic pollution but it could be part of the solution hopefully scientists will do more work on this field in the future to free us from plastic waste